Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn about frozen objects in Ruby. What is a frozen object? A frozen object is an object that you can't change. So let me show you an example. By default, you can change the strings, right? So we can create a string, like uh, Ruby guides, and you can change it, right? You can append characters to it, like .com, and then if I print it, we can see it has changed. But if we freeze the string, like that, now we get an error, and the error is can't modify, can't change a frozen string, right? So that's what a frozen object is. It's an object that can't be changed. Now this means slightly different things depending on the object you're working with. For a string, you can change or append to it. Let's see an example with an array. With an array, we can append to it, right? We get the same error, can modify frozen array, because we took an empty, an empty array and we froze it. So that's a frozen object. But there's something important to notice in here. If I put a string inside this frozen object, the string is not frozen itself. So the, this freezing is only one level deep. It doesn't freeze everything, right? It, it only frees the immediate object, so the array itself. So the, let me demonstrate what I mean. Let's say we have the string bacon inside the frozen string. What I'm saying is that this string Bacon is not frozen, even though we're creating freeze on the array. And to show you that, I'm going to access the string like this, right? That gives me access to the bacon string. And now I'm going to change it. I'm going to add, for example, an empty string that works. I don't get the error, right? Or a one that still works. Why? Because of what I just explained. Freeze is only one level deep. Now, if you want to freeze everything in the array, you will have to actually do something like this. Flatten map and freeze. Now that we freeze everything inside the array, and of course we get they can modify frozen a string. But that's an important point to remember how freeze works. Now, what are the benefits of freezing, of doing this? Well, the most obvious benefit is that it prevents the modification of whatever objects you're freezing, right? It gives you some kind of protection about change. And that's good because change is very often a source of bugs on and problems and errors in your applications. Another not so obvious uh, benefit is that you're saving memory, a little bit of memory and a little bit of performance when you're working with frozen strings, for example. Why? Because if I create string bacon once, and I create it again, and again, and again, and again. All of these are taking some space in memory, right? Because they are different objects. But if I freeze them, I can do dot freeze. Now they are the same object. You can verify this using the object ID method. Let me show you. I can do this, dot object ID, 
and we can see the object ID is the same right here. And if I delete the freeze, you will see how this changes and all of these are different. This 73, 72, 71, right? These are different object IDs, meaning they are different objects. So to ask what freezing does to your, to your strings. And in fact, you can have a magic, so-called magic command, that will automatically freeze all of your strings. It looks like this. And notice when I add this command at the top of my file, all of the strings become frozen automatically. As you can see, the ID is the same, right? But in the future, it is very possible that strings are frozen objects by default. So that's something to keep in mind. That's frozen objects in Ruby. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning and improving your Ruby skills, visit my website, rubyguides.com and subscribe to the channel now if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.